Here we have a simple experiment. We're using warm water, which is red, dyed red, to represent the top part of a lake. And then we've got colder water, which is dyed blue, to represent the bottom. So we're going to start off here by filling up the top of the lake with red, red warm water. Looks good. Okay, now once those are topped up, we're going to fill two other baby food jars with uh, cold water, which we have dyed blue, and they will represent the bottom of the lake. The bottom of the lake is called a hypolimnion. The red part, which you'll see in a minute, on top will represent the epilimnion. And this is the part that requires a little bit of courage. Get yourself an index card, turn your jar over, flop it up on top of the other jar. And look at that, you're treated to a fine view of my elbow. And we'll pull out that card, and in an ideal world, the two jars will sit on top of each other. And now we have a transition zone where we go from warm water to cold water. And that's called either the thermocline or the metalimnion. So I've got two lakes set up. I'm labeling everything there. We've got the hypolimnion on the bottom, epilimnion on top. Put the clock in so you can see the time. And we're going to bring in a cold winter storm to the left hand lake using an ice bag. And you can see that the ice bag causes that lake to mix very, very rapidly. In fact, it mixes entirely in about a half hour. And if you keep watching the clock, you'll see that the lake without the cold winter storm takes a lot longer to mix. In fact, it goes for about an hour and a half before it finally does mix and equilibrates to room temperature. So there you go, lake turnover in baby food jars.